Predator and WPA present the World A-Ball Championship here in Klagenfurt, Austria. The home of the Ushans, Albin and Jasmine Ushan. Welcome to our next match for today. In the first round we have Serbia's Alexa Petzel and from the USA, Joey Tate. I think he just went to the restroom, that's why <laughs> we don't get to see him yet, but you'll see him in the commentary booth. For you we have Eric Schurleifson and myself, Tim De Reuter. Good morning, and Eric. Good morning, guys. Good to be here with you again. Okay, so here's Joey Tate. I don't know what's going on. Patches uh, fell off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's important. So we are playing a race to eight. It's a first round match here. Race to eight, winner break, referee wrecking, and 30 second shot clock with one extension each. Gonna be a close lag, but Tate got it. Yeah, I'm expecting Pitzel to be somewhat the favorite here. I would think so as well. He's been mean, uh, playing very good lately. Oh yeah. Third place in the US Open. Yeah, played very well on the way on the whole route there as well. So will be tough. Of course, Joey Tate is a younger player, has less experience. So we'll have to play really good to make a chance. On the other side, though, I see Patzel more as a rotation player. Sure. And Joey Tate might have more eight ball background playing bar table eight ball in the US. I agree. What, what country is Patzel from? Uh, uh, Serbia. Serbia. So they, they, do they not play as much eight ball in that in that country? They do play a lot of eight ball in Europe. I know that. Yeah, I mean, there is eight ball because we play like a national championship or a European championship. OK. But still, most of the players, like not the pro players, but underneath of the pro players, most of the people still like rotation. Sure. So. And I see some players also on the tour, like they are very good playing rotation and then when playing eight ball, they just don't, like it's maybe just a little bit too much of thinking, too slow. Just the inexperience just really. It, yeah. yeah, I haven't played the game as much. I mean, what countries would you say to play the most? Spain, Spain Netherlands? Spain, for example, yeah. Netherlands, we play a bunch. But then Germany. also, for example, England with English sure. pool, English eight ball, yeah. black ball. So uh, also countries like Morocco. Okay. So, Head on break there. Spread the rack well, but they didn't get one. Just missed the ball behind the one in the side, the nine. Yeah, the nine and the one got on the point, so okay. both got close, just no ball. And I think it didn't end up that easy, though. Yeah, he's got an opener on the four, no opener on the, on the stripes. Well, he could take the 10. True. Because I think I like the stripes a little better, depending on the eight ball, though. Yeah, I feel like the eight passes. If the, the eight, ten. if the eight passes, uh, then the, the fourteen. If the eight passes, I like the solids. If it, yeah. So okay, so the eight does go. So we go from the four. The only ball you need to play good shape on is the five. Yep. Last three balls will be five, one, two, seven. If he's able to get on the five, or. Three one two seven. If he's able to get on the three, good. Angles lying okay to get over for the five here. It's a little straight. I wouldn't mind him waiting though. Like, it's not nice. Or is he gonna play forward for the five in the side? Yeah, just powered out of the angle. Didn't quite get there though. Gonna have to move the cue ball a little more than he wanted off the five. The only thing he could be okay is if he makes the five with a just some draw and he can run into the three or the one, mm -hmm. he's always going to have the seven. Natural angle might lie between the one and the side. Yeah, so good progression so far. Cleared out the one end of the table, working into the end of the table where he doesn't have to move the cue ball as much now. Yeah, just the cue ball's not going to grab much spin on the rail here. Players know that, these early rounds. I mean, the tables play pretty consistent from event to event. They've had a lot of events on these Predator tables now, but still, you know, just getting used to the conditions in the early rounds is a big overall factor in how you perform. 
solid start though. Looking pretty good so far. Yeah. Curious to see how he's gonna be breaking the ball soon. What would your strategy be? I think head on from the center. I think so too. I think it's more offensive, and I think if it starts going well, it, it, it bodes very well for w winning the overall match. One other thing I tried in Puerto Rico last year is breaking from more to the out, but still table break, and then head on. Right. And then if you make one or two balls, it's going to be open. And if you don't, usually you leave it scrappy. Oh, you were talking head on from the side rail. I was well, talking not, he not head on head on from the middle. Yeah, not not really side rail, like a little bit in between, maybe a diamond out. Sure. Like I still want But more on the bed of the table you're favoring than breaking yeah, up the yeah, rail. Yeah, like I would almost go from the corner out straight on the ball. Sure. That way you're getting more overall solid overall hit on the rack and you have still have a chance to make the head ball on the side as well. Yeah, you you're yeah. just spreading the chances out a little bit. Yeah. Um, and I, I liked it. The break was pretty good back then. But, uh, yeah, I don't like, for example, in this format, I don't like the second ball break that much. I don't either. Because usually if you can get to wreck the balls good, good, yeah, I like it a lot. But if, you know, some wrecks are going to be less good, it's going to be really scrappy. Sure. When you, when you break second ball, you're relying on that very corner ball on the rack going in. That's the, that's the one you're kind of relying on. You're, you're not going to get as big an overall spread breaking second ball. It can be effective if you're making that corner ball every time, but it won't happen as often with the hand rack. Yeah, there's, that's, that's one of the good things, I think, with playing the eight ball is there's so many different breaks. Sure. He's well, he's going from the side rail. Side rail, head on. Looks like it. Good hit. Okay. Oh. Jammed one on the Ooh. side. Made another one. Well, I like the the impact he gave, though. I agree. The only thing I did not like so much is that the cue ball was tracking towards the side, and then a lot of spin on the cue ball both. Yeah, got kicked over there. Kind of stayed down through the hit, which is an interesting play, too. Just try to hit it square. Yeah, I think I might like starting with the 10. Because the 10 also doesn't go in three corner pockets from the start, so you take away one little problem. Yeah. And after, if you get to the center of the table, yeah, well, you need to maintain some angles to get to the 12. 11 lines good for the 12. Yeah. yeah. I like cutting it in the side. Use the short rail. You have a lot of space to let the cue ball go towards the 11. So I think I would cut the 10 in, but... Maybe he's queuing over the 15 and feels that if he shoots it in the corner, he has a more level queue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Not afraid to take on a tougher pot there. Well, also let the cue ball go a little bit more, but he knew that if he took the 10 ball away, that in general everything was going to be so open. That's one of the good things. So he's got so much space on the table on the right side. that Like now he can... Just going to be on a stop pattern on the last three balls yeah, if he gets was, good on the 11. I was going to say if he gets a little bit more angle on the 13, he can keep going one or two rails out. Yeah. Could even draw he it over yeah, now. He got, he got more straight. Perfect. Oh, it doesn't... Got a little further on the 11. Barely on the holding angle here, but I think he's there. Even if he has an angle going to the left on the 12, he can still run into the 2, which is actually not great. He might have to choose to run into the 12. You can do it soft. You're always going to have the... Oh, look at this. Just enough. Okay, he still held it. Down. Okay. I was going to say, if you bump the 12, you're always going to have the 12 or the 9. Yeah. So, but then again, I tend to bump balls a lot, and... Most of the players, they say, well, just give me any shot and <laughs> leave me away from the balls. You want to avoid it if you can, yeah. But it, eight ball, you're going to be running into balls more often than playing rotation for sure. Yeah, there it is. Still pretty good control overall, though, of the cue ball. Oh, yeah. I feel his speed so far has been quite decent. 2-0, Alexa Petzel. Yeah, only a dry break from 
Joey Tate. Yeah, the only no, thing he's done. No mistakes from him. You're gonna, you're gonna see that a lot. A lot of offensive play. Well, also eight ball very much is a breaking game. Like if if the break is going and you make, especially when you start making two balls, mm -hmm. then making two balls is gonna be so open. You should be fine. It's a run out game overall, but you know the end. The, every four or five games is going to get those tactical games as well, and, th and that's where the knowledge comes in. Yeah. Never mind the knowledge in actually running out. I mean, they make it look easy, right? But the the patterns they're taking are well planned out. Going to give them the best chance to actually run the whole rack. EPBF referee wrecking the balls for us. Jintaras. Petrovas, I think its name is, from Lithuania. Yeah, Gentiles Petrovas. Nice. Not always that easy. Oh, different break though. Yeah, just didn't oh, hit it a square. He, he's got kind of lucky with that four ball because he didn't hit it square, and the pop was not there. The cue ball just. But he you almost drew the cue ball. He did. He almost went straight in the side. But you can see when you don't hit it square, you do get some kind of punishment overall because the middle of the rack doesn't spread as well. Yeah. So you got the 7, 14, 5, 7, 14, 12, 3, 2 there. He's going to have to deal with that. Mm, yeah. Interesting. Just, I mean, I do like the stripes, especially if you can get on the, if you can get straight on the 14. We have the 15 to the top left corner. I think I'm cutting this 11. Cut the 11, go in between the 10 and the 13. Then take the 12 away to open up the corner for the 13. Yeah. You could even go, if you take the 11, play the 12 and just run into the 15, 14 and take a gamble. There's many good things that can happen that way. Oh, he can see, the, can, he can see oh, the easiest okay. ball there. I, well, I didn't the, think he could see that ball Well, either. then this is even better. Sure. He opens up the corner. Oh. Too hard. Yeah. I was going to say, and close to the scratch. Can he draw on to the 15 here? Oh, you even got on the 15 no, on the side as an option. I don't think he's got on the 15. And still, I do like cutting the 14. If you hit the left side, you bump the 15 up. Yeah. Just make... Just play with enough speed that you cannot stay behind the six. Right. Go into the rail and come out. Oh, he stopped the kill right there. And Drew it a little too much. He's on the 10. Yeah, and there is a combination on the 15. It's just that, you know, if you don't get straight on it, those could be always tricky. Sure. Yeah, I can go to the short side of the nine ball as well. Play the combination or the nine in the bottom right corner. Yeah. That's one thing I like to do playing eight ball is play multiple shots at the same time. Definitely. Because, you know, a lot of times you need small angles. And if you, if you get in between two balls, you pick the better of the small angles. Yeah, got a little funky. A little bit more angle on this. I think he can hold the cue ball for the 13. Oh, he did hold it a little bit. Overheld it. Yeah. So cut the 11. Just spin the ball in. A lot of right spin. I think that's what I would do. Try to get on the 9. I was thinking 13 here. Did play into the 9, though. You're right. Yeah, I just like the 13 is more... Like, the 8 only goes in the bottom left corner in this view, and from the 13, it's easier to get to that side of the 8. Yep. Yeah, strong start. Yeah, I would, you know, just never seen him playing 8 ball before. I'd say he has a pretty good grasp on the game. This eight ball to be up three zero. Yeah, also a very confident player at the moment. You know, that's also one thing in eight ball. You can make yourself very insecure. Thinks about breaking, 
Um, you know, you can already know at the beginning of your run, like, well, this is a tough layout. I'm not sure if I'm going to get there. And then you don't get there. Especially when you're playing under a shot clock, too. You know, if you're playing under no shot clock, you can kind of just take more time and, and take take time to plan what, uh, what you have to do. But if you get rattled in this game under a shot clock, yeah, it can go bad. Yeah, I just feel he... Yeah, he's in such a confident mode at the moment. Of course, he's had good results. He's been traveling a bunch, so he's been playing a lot too. Mm -hmm. So I feel that really helps him out. That, that might really help him this week. Yeah, I, I'd consider him a, a favorite to get near the end of the tournament. Yeah, for Joey Tate, a little less. Played not all of the events and yeah, well, still young, like I mentioned before. Like he will need the experience good to see that he's putting himself out there though for sure and he's here for the world junior championships as well he's he, he'd be one of the favorites in the under 19 division i believe is he still playing yep oh oh he look he's starting to look a little older than <laughs> <laughs> i expected him to be yeah then again a lot of spin on the cue ball yeah but he's made the 13 straight in the corner and and the 12 also Hit it square, but this side rail break is going to lend to these type of tied up racks a little more. Yeah, now we can, you, you said after three, four games, usually there's going to be a strategy goal yep. game. Well, this is the one. I think this is one, or it's depending though. If he can make the nine, stun over to the center of the table use the 15 to open up the stripe on the side on the I side long rail see that play and then still have the 11 left yeah the and 10 will be down there by itself yeah, but we'll at least they'll the open up take the, the 10 now and go to the nine oh. i thought about oh. that too i didn't know if he had the angle to actually get to the combo that's a smart shot though. that was a tough combo i like it nice shot from alexa patel opened up the problem and so just for the viewers at home, it's open off the break, and you can always shoot a stripe into a solid when, whenever the table's open or a solid into a stripe. Let's call shots. He's opened this rack up nicely. Little heavy on the speed to be able to play the nine on the side and hold for the ten, but he has an option on the eleven. I was gonna say I wouldn't mind going for the eleven, like with where the eight is. It doesn't matter if you go a little bit more traveling in this. Yeah. Draw over Just to the right here into the angle. Could he draw all the way back? No, oh, he's straight enough to. Yeah. yeah, yeah Stand over to the right long rail. Just make sure you have angle on the 10. Not like that. That, th that was one thing <laughs> I was expecting to happen. That's he could have played to the low side too. But now we'll have to draw the cue ball out of there. Yeah, it's got perfect. He's in his early 20s, I would assume. You, you would know better yeah, than me. Yeah, he's, uh, I think he's 23, 22. Yeah. Yeah, he travels around with many good players. He plays all the big events. He hangs around with Alexa, uh, uh, with Alexa, with uh, Sanjin Pelivanovic okay. a lot. So, yeah, I mean, he's got a good group of people behind him, and it shows. So, three breaker runs. We'll go for a short little break. We'll be right back for you guys. Stay tuned. the better player will still win. His tempo to win the title. He is your champion. New world champion.
Philippines are the world champions. Welcome back here in first round of the World 8-Ball Championships. Alexa Pitzel is up 4-0. Incredible display so far against Joey Tate. Yeah, three breaking runs in a row. Most I've seen in the first two matches. He'll be looking to add another one. Let's see on the break. And really four runouts because he ran out off Joey's dry break in the first game. Yeah, another ball on the break and bunch of balls on the left side of the table here but they're all it, open i think it works out pretty fine like it looks really scrappy but in the end you know if he makes a seven bumps the four out cuts the one bumps the ten out i like that play i think Just it's kind of open open the area a little bit The only thing is he didn't really get on to open up the eight. Now, one other thing, he could cut the one and bump the six out a bit. Saw that withdraw. Yeah. He's always going to have the four or the five ball next to it. He could go five, six, one as well. If he likes, he can also shoot the six in the side and then also the, the one in the side. Yeah. Three is going to play into the eight decently. Pardon me, it might be the five down there. Um, three, three, yeah. Okay. I mean, from here, I know the six is a little tougher, but I'm shooting the six. Yeah. You have little. to. Especially oh, shooting the one. Oh, I guess the six passes the ten. Oh, yeah, the 14, you mean? Yeah. Well, he's got... Well, he did get on the... On the three ball, just I'm still wondering about the six ball. The six ball did look. I guess he wanted to open up the eight a little more, which he did. So now, yeah, he can still go four and then six in the side, but will he needs to make sure he gets angle on the six. If he gets straight on the six, now getting on the eight is so scrappy, and you can actually miss the six ball. And the thing about the, the, this pocket size, too, is that if you get even a little off straight, you're going to have to power the ball a lot more. Oh, he is really forced to make some angle. And he's not got perfect, but he's got okay. He's got I just he enough where he doesn't have to overhit the speed. Yeah, he can yeah. make something happen, but... This is for his fourth break and run in a row. And also, he doesn't really have to stun. If he can play with just soft draw and run up to the 13, it would already be okay. Just so take a bigger cut angle on the eight, yeah. Make sure you just make the six. It's okay. Yeah, it's confident too at the moment. Sure, so doesn't mind playing in, in the side with a little more speed. So perfect break and run again. Great display here so far. Yeah, one run out, four break and runs in a row. It's up 5-0 and yeah, I mean, there's not much more Joey Tate can do from this position and there's also no reason for him to maybe get upset or disappointed. Sure. One dry break. Just sit there and know you're going to have to come back with the same. Yeah. Yeah, if you can get a chance and at least maybe get two or three on the board, you know, then you get something going. Mm -hmm. so at least that's what I usually look for. I don't look at running five, six, seven. I'm looking to get at least two or three on the board and then from there hopefully mount the pressure a little happens. bit on your yeah. opponent yeah first goal is to win the first game of course the first part of that is getting a shot yeah yeah absolutely yeah tomorrow starting the world temple women championship Oh, 
Oh, it looks like the run's good. Oh, the nine oh. slid in. He's still alive for the perfect set. Look at this. A little bit more difficult run out here, I think so. I think some balls are blocking each other. Look like it. There's a couple solids on the left side rail. I can't tell if they pass each other. If they do, I, I no, they don't. So he's going to have to take the one or maybe the stripes. We'll, well have to see here. First glimpse, it looked the 10 ball. The, yeah, 10 ball is close to be making it. I mean, I like the stripes. If the 10 does go, I like the stripes a lot. I do too. And he, he's a, he can start with the 12. The 12, just go off the bottom rail up. Try to get straight on the 10 so you can just draw straight back. He's looking at solids though. If you get on the one, the solids are reasonably open as well. Yeah, that 10 ball must not go then. Yeah. Looks like it does. His choice, though. I mean, yeah. what, what he's betting on the rack here is that he can get good on the one, and he's actually going to play the three towards the one right now. He's probably going to do it right now, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, also, if he gets past the side, he can either get on the one, and he's guaranteed to have the five. So it's a two-way two -way spot there. I think he's got perfect on the one as well. He can get right out of that little corner. Yeah, like playing just a bit of right spin, play on top of the 11. Oh Toughest he, ball on the rack he, left is the four. He got a little straight here. Yeah, this is it's not ideal here. Do you have to run the cue ball two rails at the eight? Oh, you can play it with some left and avoid the 11 and the left. But then you're not great I'm on not the seven. I'm not sure here, though. I think I might just stun off and take more angle on the seven and then maybe drop over for the four on the side. Just play one sh good shot from the seven and the four. That, yeah. that, that comes up in eight ball a lot, you know, like don't move the cue ball for a bunch of shots and then play one good shot, get back in line. God, okay. I mean, it worked out. It just got a little bit more difficult to get on the six. Yeah. Could have worked out bad. And, yeah. and also, if you leave yourself angle on the six later on, then the eight is maybe a little bit annoying. I think he can still go bottom left and A little too much angle, I think. Might be possible, but I think it's going to favor the follow. Needs to go. Yeah, needs more speed. Probably running off the side of the 15, but if he can get to the proper side, no, he can't. Well, in his case, it would also, I mean, it's easy to say afterwards, but it would have been better to go too far sure. and get the cue always to go to the left long rail than now too short. Look at this, power He's draw going. three rails. Yeah. Nailed it. Oh. Did he hit it too good? No, he's okay. No, I think Oh, maybe he got too far. Just has like enough, yeah. I'd say though. he does. Now is he gonna? Bu I think I like the bump on the eight here. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Perfect set, still alive. Six nothing. Great display so far from Cell. Yeah, it needs to look out for the cue ball here, though. Well, he hasn't missed in 50 shots so far. I'll make him a favorite here. Yeah, no, I'm not, just kidding. Not okay. Yeah, yeah <laughs> well, not, not making the eight, but if he had played it with more pace, then the 10 13 came into play. Sure, yeah. But incredible display so far. And I think it's even more impressive that it's his first match of the tournament. Like, he showed up here, had two games of practice, Good and said, call. well, Let's just break a run five. Yeah. Like, it's not something you see very often. You usually get to see the players starting to make big runs. Later on. Later when on they, the tournament. When they've dialed in the break and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, both really nice guys also on the tour. Not really get to see them argue with people or get into... No, like stupid stuff, you know, like it, there's many players or have been many players in the past who, yeah, couldn't stand losing, you know, and these guys are, they, they're very genuine, they're very respectful. Seeing more and more of that as the game grows and becomes more professional. Billiard Beckman, Jurgen Beckman here. 
our table fitter. Okay. Billiard Beckman is the official Predator dealer in Germany. So, of course, nearby here. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. Can we make another one on the break? So close, making the 13 the side. No, what a great run. <laughs> Round of applause. Six games, no errors. Yeah, I just feel he just had the ball just that hair too thin. Yeah. But still, I mean, <laughs> it's already been uh, quite the performance. So let's see. Also, I'm wondering now, how cold does Joey Tate feel? I mean, he, he ran out pretty quick, but he's sitting there for about half an hour, I would say, in the, in the six games. Had to be close. Yeah, so, uh, probably something like that. So. so let's see. I do like the solids here. The only ball being a little annoying is the eight from the looks of it. You know, I also sometimes like to take a gamble. Like, for example, now he could play with draw and just draw into the eight. Sure, so many solids around that he was going to be fine. Especially at the beginning of the rack, especially when the balls are broken badly. Sometimes you just rearrange a whole area, just make yeah. a whole new table. Right? Yeah, now he's pushed the six a little bit more difficult. Tough run out here, though. Needs to get to the center. Four has got to go before the five, or the five has to go in the long pocket, but then the six has to go before the five as well. I think, is he possible to make the four and get on the six? Like, if he can find it that window, that would be probably ideal. Yeah. Small window, though. Tried it. Yeah, Overdrew it. I don't think he found, no, he did not get the window on the six. You could actually know. weave the cue hole between the 513 here, shoot the seven, come across one rail. Not sure if the spin is going to grab that much. Yeah, it's, it's gonna. Uh, it's not going to And if you're going out. between the 13, 14, there's a really big scratch. Yeah, he's, t he's taking a shot at it. Maybe you can stun and just go for, play for the five. Two and then the window between the 14, six. Yeah, I think so. I think he can only go forward, or yeah, or he draws back and, and he then goes two rails up and across. Down, yeah. yeah. Would have liked to have a little bit more angle, though. Yeah, thirteen almost got him. Never mind. He's there, though. Well, are you sure? I don't think he's got there. Maybe you Just can still spin there. the ball, but, you know, if you bring more angle, you can easier go across twice. Sure. It's got to so hit a speed higher here. And also, most of the time when you play the higher speed, you're going to stun the ball just a hair more. That's right. So it gets a different line. It's tough when you're powering up like that, especially when you've been cold. Yeah, and then to add to the problem, it was always going to get to be tough to be on the eight after mm -hmm. with the six. So tough run. Maybe could have uh, rearranged the, the furniture a little bit in the beginning. Yeah, That's the only thing I could. I would advise him maybe, but just didn't quite get on a solid line throughout the hole out and just became progressively tougher. Yeah, now not that much work. Could also still choose to shoot the nine from here. But he's just gonna play most of it just stop shots. Stop on the fourteen. Got a decently long extension on his cue. It's like four inch, maybe six. That was something that a lot of players were playing with for a while, and now it's down to maybe ten percent. Yeah, most of the players went to what is it, two inch, three inch? Yeah. 
Well, it looks to be working for him. We all have to buy a couple four-inch extensions. Hmm. Yeah, he's not playing that much of a pattern so far, though. I feel like his cue ball has been moving quite a bit. But if he can get straight on the 11, he's still good. Yeah, le less punishment for that when there's more balls on the or when there's less balls on the table. But for sure, you still want to stick to your fundamentals, stick to your textbook plays where you're not moving the cue ball as much. Oh, he's got a little angle. So the eight in the same corner as the 11. If he goes forward, he's worried about the cue ball running into the five six area. I, I I probably like to stay away from the six. I I'm not too. going forward. I, I I'm gonna draw, and even if I take a tougher shot on the eight, I'd rather take that and not get close. Yeah, Pinch, I got perfect. Pinched it nicely. That shot was actually tougher than it looked. Short fall through there to take as much energy out of the cue ball as he could. Yeah, seven zero. Alexa Petzel is. Really putting on a clinic here. He's still on a flawless set. The only the only half mistake or the only thing he hasn't done perfectly was he didn't make a ball on one break. Yeah, I mean, it's tough. You have to feel for Joey a little bit. You get to sure. play World Able Championships and then, well, Alexa is showing you the, 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 the average level on the World Able Championships, guessing. I mean, it's so tough to be there sometimes. It's a double. There's Shane. Shane's going to be right in contention for the whole week. Yeah, good to see him here, though. Like, of course, he's got so much experience, and he's got a very interesting break. So I feel when his break gets going, he plays good eight ball. I agree. Good pattern. So definitely one of the, yeah, one of the favorites to say. Yep. I think he'll be hungry too because he's he doesn't have a world eight ball championship under his belt. Many eight ball titles, just not the world championship. Yeah, also it's sometimes difficult. He's won many titles, so it's sometimes tough to stay hungry. But then this one is always going to be different because he never won this one. Yep. Now with the other games, yeah, he can struggle a bit by being energetic Complacent, and fresh. Yeah. So breaking to finish the match here. Race to eight, win or break. Picks up itself. Again, quite some spin on the cue ball, but he's made another ball and he's gonna shoot the six, I guess, open up the balls a bit. And I mean, here's an argument for the break from the side rail. You know, he's, he's, he's about to break and run seven in the eight game, or six of the eight games yeah. with a break from the side rail. C6, open up the two. Well, he knew it was not going to open up that much. He was going to hit it head on. Yeah, some work left. Nice that he can get on the four here. Four is actually the toughest if ball the on the table. Yeah, if the four goes, then let's take the four away. If it doesn't go, you can cut the seven and go around and shoot the five and come back for the three, four, two area. Yeah. Did he foul on the two? No. No, no, no. He was just checking. The, the shot clock, I think. Yeah. If the four ball goes, I think he can also draw in between the nine and the 15, I think it was. Yeah, nine and the 15. A lot of spin and draw. Just a little too far for the five. Yeah, but I don't worry too much about the five ball, though. Like, I worry more about the two. Like, if you stun over and you shoot the two in the bottom left corner, I think after you can still get to the five. Sure. Yeah, that's what he did. Three ones line good for the last two balls. Well, what a performance here. Giving note that he'll be... 
looking as one of the players to get near the end this week. It's actually, if you're going by AccuStats rating, it's a 1,000 performance. That's rare to see. Oh, a little bump. I think it, yeah, it just got okay there. That was a fortunate roll. Now has to kill the cue ball. Plays low to take the pace out of the cue ball. Well, that's what it's choosing to go two rounds. Yeah. No, or just inside, slow it down. Got straight, but he can manufacture an angle here. Yeah, cheats just with some high right. Oh, even just draw. He's yeah, he's playing confidently. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like he's feeling so good. Yeah. All right, so Alexa Patel's win this match. What a set. Eight to a whitewash, Joey Tate. What a set from Patel. So this was Eric Hurlifeson and myself, Tim De Reuter, and we would love to have you back at 2 p.m. So make sure you tune in. Thank you, guys. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon.